So today I'm at SEW Eurodrive in conversation with, with Rudy Swanepoel. Rudy, obviously SEW Eurodrive is, is, a, is a very well-known company, company, a company that's been embedded in the South African industry, in the Southern African industry for a long, long time. But I thought what I'd ask first is, could you tell us who you are in the context of SEW Eurodrive, and then I'm going to ask you some questions about some of your recent project projects. Um, Ian, yes, I'm mainly involved in projects, so I am the head of the department of projects. And that's what you want to be in. <laughs> that, yeah. That's the fun part. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm head of head of department of projects. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, back in the day, projects and engineering, we were one department, we were right. functioning as engineering, so basically we did everything from quotation right to, to running the project to quality. Uh, we split the, the functionalities a bit, um, so we, we currently more focused, project support is more focused on the sales side of things, the, the technical clarification, the calculations, um, and then assisting the customers. Um, and then that gets handed over currently to engineering department and then they run with it. But we work hand in hand, so sometimes we would even assist in, in running with, with the project, like the one that we, we will be discussing today. So I have in front of me a, a document which refers to what we call the X series, and, and that relates now to what I'm associating with you chaps is a recent diamond mine development in Lesotho. Correct. Just tell us a little bit about the relationship you have with the diamond mine. And let's be honest, mining isn't exactly flying right now. Yes. So what are you guys up to there and how's it working out? Okay, just to give you some a little bit of clarification Ian. Um, the diamond mine, mine as such, uh, primarily we don't get involved with the diamond sure. mine. Sure. Um, they obviously go out to EPCMs, OEMs and project houses. Now, as a project department, we, we are predominantly involved in those that sector at the moment. So we don't even go to the mine as such at this stage of supply. Um, it's almost an ideal situation. You know. It is, it is. Yeah. So we, we obviously try to impress and the project house at uh, EPCM OEMs. Um, we got the project from, uh, or got the inquiry from a project house. Uh, we did the, the technical clarifications, bearing life calcs, thermal calcs, uh, sent our proposal through, quotation tender through to the project house and yeah, that's basically where it kicked off. So I mean, for instance, I, I, what, what I would associate with the mining industry per se in any no. country is how do we become more efficient? How do we do things better? And how do, how do you feel that your, your product will, will assist the mining in that regard? Doing this better, doing it more efficiently, and doing it, I suppose, more reliably. Um, well, yeah, Ian, you can, we can refer to the X-Series as such, uh, or we can refer to SEW as a whole. Now, referring to the X-Series, um, Obviously, we are a German-based company, so we have we as SCW have a constant R&D department that are making our thermal efficiencies more efficient, making bearing life calculation better, right. uh, working on, on the R&D of our gearboxes. Um, from SCW, so yeah, that's that's where the product comes in. From, with regards to SCW as a whole, um, obviously, project as a department gets involved at the inquiry stage. We do the calculations, supply the units, blah blah through the project house. Right. So that's where our systems. With regards to after sales. Being efficient as a company, we've got an exports department in this case in the Sutu, or if it's in South Africa, that would be us or right. whatever. Um, we are, we believe in good service as ECW, and that's obviously as a whole, we believe it's, uh, it's not just the supply of the unit initially. It's following through and making sure that the end customer, the Sutu in this case, is a happy customer at the end of the day. I mean that's an interesting point. I mean you point out that you're part of the projects division. It's yes. not a case of saying here's a box, put it in. It's yeah, really yeah. It's, a, it's a whole process of how you engage that client and how you actually work with them exactly. to ensure that you've got exactly. the longevity of that project. It's about giving the, the customer, be it the, the project house or the end customer, peace of mind. That what we're going to supply and what's going to be delivered at the end of the day is what he needs and what's going to fulfill these requirements. It, it's clear to me that you enjoy what you do, that you absolutely believe in what you do. Yes, I believe in what I do and I believe in the SCW as a product. So really, the Lesotho Diamond Mine project, just share with us some of the detail about that project. Okay, um, well we basically got the inquiry originally, I'm not going to mention the project house obviously, but we got it from a project house. Um, an inquiry like that takes takes a while, <laughs> takes a few years. Um, the, well, the inquiry as such takes, takes a week or two, but um, the, the finalization of the project as such can take years. Uh, we, we did the inquiry, we, we uh, offered our X-Series, uh, which in thermal capabilities, uh, bearing off hours, etc. as I uh, uh, mentioned earlier, is an outstanding unit. Um, we received the official order in December 2014 from the project house. Uh, we delivered, we had a long delivery time of that, we delivered it in February 2016. That was the first section of the mine for, for um, this diamond mine. 
The, like I said, we offer the X-Series on this specific project. Um, what, what makes the X-Series unique is it has a flippable housing. So with regards to stock holding, etc., it makes it easier for the end customer at the end of the day as well. So you know, we, if he has two conveyors, he can only keep one, or only needs to keep one unit of the X-Series. Uh, so that was the first portion of, of the project. The second portion of the project, being overland, con being overland conveyors, um, was for another project house where we did the tailings end. So obviously the, the initial product is mined, etc. etc. Um, we did the tailings end for another project and then we supplied additional three units. So the first first side of the project had 20 units, 20 power packs, as we mentioned, so we supplied a complete power pack. And the second second part of the project for the tailings had uh, three, three power packs, also X-Series. Um, so yeah, we met our required delivery dates, everything went smooth. So in all, a uh, good successful project for SCW and a good successful project for, for the Diamond Line. Oh, fantastic. So that'd be cool. Yeah, that, that's Thumbs up. up.